Guys, so I'm gonna do this video normal, just normal like this, like this kind of tone. I'm not gonna shout or nothing, because apparently I've been shouting, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna do it normal. Yeah, it's not really shouting. Sometimes when I just stop talking about stuff, I get mad, passionate and stuff, do you know what I mean? And then I just, uh, even when I'm with my friends, they're like, bro, just chill, just calm down a bit. So um, that's just how I am, I'm sorry. But yeah, um, so, Amber and Greg was on um, Loose Women this morning. I just seen that. I just watched it on YouTube. That I, I'm really happy for them. That shit just makes me happy. Seeing them two together and just... Do you know what? It's just the fact that knowing that Amber dodged... She dodged a bullet in Michael. Like, you know what? Really and truly, when I got to thinking about it, she really needs to thank Joanna. Had it not been for Joanna... Michael might have slid through, do you know what I'm saying? So for because of people like Joanna, we were able to see this um this parking meter head you for who he is. Do you know what I'm saying? So Michael, we all know, everyone knows, every girl in in the nation that watches Love Island should know this guy is just a scumbag, snake, and a slime ball. Do you know what I'm saying? But moving on from that, the interview, well, it was good. It was good. I was I was happy for them. The interview was really good. I really, really liked it. I wasn't. I, I'm not gonna lie. I, at first, I wasn't sure if there was if they if they had chemistry. But then I looked at it. I done the math, and then I realized it's not even about where they are. It's where they're going. So it's all about the geography of it, really. When you think about it, do you know what I'm saying? Like when you work it out like that. But yeah, um, like they look so good together. The more and more I see them, and I think I just think like they just look so good together. This guy. Greg looks at her like she's like a million dollars, like she's like 10 million dollars, like he just hit a lick, do you know what I'm saying? That's a man that loves his woman right there, do you know what I'm saying? I don't know if she loves him as much as he loves her, but in every relationship, someone always likes one person more than the other, that's a fact, do you know what I'm saying? It's, nothing's really balanced in this world, but yeah, um, but yeah, Greg has been a perfect example, a good, a good, good a good um, role model for the kids to follow, the kids coming up to see how to be a perfect gentleman. Don't follow Michael. Michael's a Willy Wonka. Like, forget that guy, innit? Yeah? But yeah. And then Colleen Nolan started asking them about their sex life. Okay. Why would you do that on national TV? That's a bit intrusive, don't you think? Like, I don't know what's wrong with these people. Why are you asking them about their sex life for? That's a bit awkward, innit? Yeah? We just do our own thing and we have a moment in the hotel room together and stuff but it's still okay. a bit crazy and it's great to be you on your own. You know, I'm going to be asking about those moments in the hotel room together. <laughs> <laughs> there, there we are. But what no, I mean, we're really asking. <laughs> <laughs> you point it in a nice way, I want to know. <laughs> How good were those moments? <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> Why is she asking him how good those moments were? Like, what's wrong with her? Worry about how good your moments are, if you have any, that is. Like, this woman, I'm not going to lie. I used to think she was cool until I saw her on um, Celebrity Big Brother a few years back. And I'm not going to lie, since then I was just turned off her. Like, she just, all she did was literally drink coffee and smoke cigarettes. This woman, she smoked more than an old, old diesel transit. She was just smoking regularly on some chimney thing. Do you know what I'm saying? So, I didn't think she needed to ask that question. I'm not going in on Colleen or Colleen, however you pronounce it. But yeah, I just thought that... That bit was a bit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, um, they then went on to speak about how she's changed and how she's literally changing through the series. She came in as this brash, harsh girl and then she softened up. And it's true, fully, fully true. Because like, I never liked Amber at first. I didn't. If you go and watch my early reviews, yeah, I was a bit skeptical about her because I don't know, she just seemed like she was a bit up herself. But then as the as the as the um the, the series went on and stuff, like you realize that this girl is just like a lot of like females that I've met in my lifetime, I don't know about you lot, the guys I'm talking to. So a lot of them, even some guys, a lot of them pop this like harsh, hard front, like to trying to protect something. But most of the time, these are the softest people in the world. Do you know what I'm saying? That's why they I don't know what they're trying to they're trying to protect and guard something, which I respect. But yeah, um I never liked her at first. And then she, I just grew, 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 grew. And then I was, I, I, I just, and I became Team Amber. I became Team Amber, I'm not going to lie. They are not official yet. Amber and Greg are not official yet. Uh, they're exclusively dating. That's what, that's what the kids call it nowadays, exclusively dating. But they're not official yet. When asked why, 
Amber simply said he hasn't asked me. It's as simple as that. He hasn't asked her yet. And they asked him why he hasn't asked her. He said, look, I only just met her on the 15th of July. Like, that's a very, very short period of time. We haven't even known each other for that long yet. So, that's some real shit. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that's some real shit. It, it takes time. It takes time to develop something that's going to be have a solid foundation. It's going to take time. Do you know what I'm saying? So, just him just straight away just asking her, like, do you know what? Just a man of his principle, it seems like... I, I like his fundamentals. I like his fundamentals. He wants to get to know her first. Once he's gotten to know her, then he will do the right traditional thing that he should do. So I like where he's going there because a lot of people don't take the time to get to know people. Do you know what I'm saying? I got a friend, yeah? He just moved to like his new house and all that. He don't even know the corner shop man yet. And he's going up there asking for ticks, asking see if he can get cigarettes on loan and fucking beans and shit. What's wrong with people? You need time to get to know people and develop the relationship. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, um, you see how I'm trying to keep it calm. <laughs> calm Fred. This, this is the calm Fred. It's the calm Fred. Yeah. Okay. Let me know if you don't like this Fred, innit? But I'm really trying to keep it down. I'm trying, no, I'm really trying to keep it down, you know, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm, I'm just, this is new, this is the new me. <laughs> Apparently as well, Greg, Greg hasn't been back to Ireland yet, like, that, this guy, I'm not, he, he loves her off, I rate that so much, yeah, this is how a man should love his woman, you know what I'm saying, because they say a woman is the backbone to every man, you know what I'm saying, so he, he hasn't been back to Ireland yet, um, Apparently, he's met her mum and dad and all that stuff, which is, like, I applaud that. That shows me, yeah, that this is real. That shows me it's real, even though they probably already met him on the screen. But she officially took him to the house to meet her mum and dad and all that. That's good. I rate that, I rate that he's met her family still, because, like, like, back in the days, like, even me, before I met my girl, back in the days, like, girls never used to meet my family. Like, literally, like, you would, you would meet the door, meet me. Meet my bedroom. If you need a toilet, you might meet the, the, the toilet after that. Then you meet the door again. And you might even be meeting the bus stop after that. And, and, and the 245, whatever bus you're catching. And then after that, you might... It depends if you drive. You're probably meeting your car. So there was a lot of meetings going on, but just not the parents. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But I'm really, really happy for that. The kids are today, especially Amber and, Amber and Greg, yeah. Good role models for us to, for, to, for us to all follow. Do you know what I mean? Some of us are fucked up out here, but these are good role models for us to follow. Greg was meant to go back to Ireland for a surgery because he plays rugby and all that. And he's meant to have a surgery on his head. But they got a lot of press on that to do. So this ain't the right time because if he had to get the surgery on his head and that, he'd have to get his hair shaved and all that. It's not the right look. He didn't want to be out here looking like a bald eagle and all them things there. You know what I'm saying? Looking like a vulture. So he said he's going to postpone that to another date, which I fully, fully rate. And then they were asked... Um, do they feel that there's any pressure on their relationship and stuff like that? They need to make it work. And Amber was just like straight, nope. Like, like she said, I get what you're coming from, but everything is just is just natural between us. Nothing's false. We're just pretty much just like letting it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. But yeah, just letting it flow. Do you know what I'm saying? And uh, just letting nature just take its course. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, good stuff. Good stuff. Beautiful things, man. Beautiful. Yeah, that was that was pretty much the interview, to be honest. Like, um, it's about seven minutes long. Um, try check it out. It's on. It's on. Um, I think it's on Loose Women. It's on Loose Women's channel on on YouTube. But yeah, it's on YouTube. If you guys want to check it out, it's a good good interview. I liked it. it Looks, I'm trying. I'm, I'm getting hype again. But yeah, I liked it. And um, yeah, thanks for watching me, guys. And I should see you soon. Have a very good evening. Drive home safe if you're driving. Drink responsible. Don't take any drugs. Unless you're behind closed doors. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> See you lot later.